Hi, I'm Sue Hall. And I'm Tristan MacDonald. I'm dyslexic, the mother of a dyslexic. I'm the chair of the Whole Dyslexic Society and author of the book, Fish Don't Climb Trees. And as a Davis facilitator, have had the privilege of working with children and adults for the past 22 years. And I'm a corrected dyslexic. Having been through a program with Sue, we had some great conversation during my program and I thought it'd be a good idea to record a series of podcasts to get rid of the stigma surrounding dyslexia and to share my experience and those of others. We decided to release this first series, two podcasts a week, in August 2020 to coincide with a fundraiser for the whole Dyslexic Society, Walk and Talk the Dis Out of Dyslexia. And you will hear from Tristan in his podcast, Why at the Age of 25, he decided that he needed to find out more about the way he thought and learned. We met some amazing people, all experts in their own right, whether professional, experiential or both. You will hear from Greg Moore, ex-mayor of Port Coquitlam, who only recently decided to publicly acknowledge that he has dyslexia. You'll hear from the mother of one of my students, who is an amazing researcher and keeps us up to date with the latest views on the ways to teach reading, which support our non-phonic approach. One of my friends, who wasn't sure if she had dyslexia or not. Another facilitator who wrote her master's on the connection between perception and, and dyslexia. A Montessori teacher who uses Davis learning strategies with her three to five year olds to ensure she reaches all the children in her class. And there'll be more as we gather speed. We hope that as you listen, you will thoroughly enjoy resonating with the insights and ahas, the ups and downs, and know that you are part of the overdue change. Our goal is that there is a cognitive equal opportunity for every child as they enter school. Thank you for being part of this change. And just so you have a little idea of why I got into this work, we start with chapter one of Fish Don't Climb Trees, so-called because of the Einstein quote, everyone is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will grow up its whole life believing it is stupid. Chapter one, defining moments. George's moment. Mom, Dyslexia is like a wound. In the past, people have given me band-aids for it. Now I can heal it myself. I was listening to my 10-year-old son, who from time to time, since he was about five years old in fact, has been the bearer of wisdom beyond his years. My awareness of his wisdom started one evening at a family dinner. My mother, who was the original chalk to my cheese, started choking. Having just become an alternative health therapist, I now kept Rescue Remedy with me at all times, using it to relieve all kinds of trauma. Have some Rescue Remedy, I offered, just about to drop some in her glass of water. All sorts of elderly hand-waving and facial expressions, followed by a death-defying no, indicated this suggestion was not well received. A little voice from the end of the table said, Mummy, you're not helping Granny the way she wants you to help her. I looked at the owner of the small voice in total amazement. He was absolutely spot on. She wanted me to be quiet and defer to her, as usual, even if it was her last breath. I needed to let her finish choking in her own way, in her own time. I looked at my son with fresh eyes. How did he know that? And how did he manage to articulate that? More to the point, this parenting journey had suddenly taken a new twist with a possible contender for the leading role. I anticipated it was now going to be even more fun than I had originally imagined. So five years later, having just completed a one week long Davis Dyslexia Correction Program, George was now sitting in his bedroom telling me all about his experiences band-aids and healing included. That wasn't all. He'd just finished blitzing his bedroom. He had taken everything off the shelves, the stuffed animals, the dinosaur magazines, the horse riding rosettes, the pottery thumb pots. He'd thrown out what he didn't want. He rearranged everything he was keeping and even dusted. His father and I were completely amazed. What ten-year-old does that? Then the penny dropped. 
"'You know what he's doing,' I said to his father. "'He's just got rid of all the clutter in his mind, "'and now he's getting rid of the clutter in his bedroom. "'His physical space needs to reflect his mental space. "'Wow!' "'This was a moment. "'If you've ever wondered what a defining moment is, "'this is a fine example of one. "'As George shared his wisdom with us, "'I realised that I needed to be a part of "'whatever he and his facilitator had experienced.' If one week could change the life of my son to this extent, I wanted in on it, whatever it was. So, there you have it. And now we warmly invite you to enjoy all the podcasts we are releasing this month, August 2020, every Sunday and Wednesday, as we are talking the dis out of dyslexia. And you can always contact us anytime by emailing info at the wds.org and we thank you for being involved in this long overdue change. So bye for now.